We're in South Lake, Texas. My client's favorite place to go, Barbecue Outfitters. Put a plate set around this one. Set it up for oven cooking. So you can cook uh, stuff like anything you can cook in an oven, you can cook in an egg? Yes, we're gonna do pineapple upside down cake to start on the egg, and then we will change over to cook something else. Okay. So you have just, the vents completely open to bring the temperature up. So this one at the bottom here and this one up and at the top. top. Okay. And with the plate setter in there, it may take a little longer to get to temperature. Okay. Just a little. So is this what goes on the top of it later? Once you get to temperature, you'll add your daisy wheel to adjust your airflow, which adjusts, controls your temperature. Okay. And use natural fire starters or an electric fire starter of sorts. Never lighter fluid. Okay, okay. So how's it now? Our egg's at 370, and 350 is where we want to cook our cake. So we're going to minimize the airflow to reduce the temperature. And once we've got it locked in, we will start um, prepping for the cake. It's the fact that you can do anything from grilling, to smoking, make desserts, to pies, biscuits, bread, pizzas are phenomenal, we add a little wood flavor to it. What we're going to do here is just go ahead and set our 10 inch cast iron skillet, which requires a short handle so it will close. Start melting our butter, and as the butter begins to melt, We'll add the brown sugar. Okay. The key on the egg is you always cook with the lid closed. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, it changes the temperature reading, and you really have no idea what temperature you're cooking at. The more you open it, since I opened it up for a few minutes, it dropped that temperature, but the temperature should start to come back up because I've closed it. I went down to about 300, and it's already starting to come back up. Okay. Butter is starting to melt, and we're going to add our brown sugar so it will make the base for our pineapple upside down cake. Again, I'm just going to give that a little stir and close it back up. Give that butter more opportunity to melt. It really impresses friends and family when you can pull desserts off of a charcoal grill. <laughs> Well, this sounds like it's going to be really impressive and tasty too. Like I said, it's one of my husband's favorite desserts now. All time favorite. Butter's melted. Melting the sugar. Add a few little pecans for flavor. And we'll go get our cake powder and pineapples. We're going to layer our pineapple on there. Fresh pineapple is always nice. But we're going to use can today. By doing it using the cast iron skillet, it really helps to um, caramelize that butter and brown sugar so that it all uh, makes a nice dark crust. I'm just adding our cake mix to the top. Spread it, a spread it a little, it will all even out, and close the lid. Now since we've had it open that long, it's, the temperature's really dropped, and that's just from releasing the air, um, but it will pick it back, go right back up, I'll give it a little, little assistance. And once it hits 350, we'll lock that in, and 
adjust our uh, cast iron skillet about every 15 minutes to make sure we have even cooking on the bottom. Okay. Woo, look at pretty. Okay, we're going to turn it another 30%. Another 10, 12 minutes. 40 minutes. Even, evenly brown. Check for doneness. Looks like it's good. So we're gonna take this baby off. Oh, Marcus, would you mind get my other glove, please? It's sitting on the counter. Cast iron skillet gets pretty hot in there. Yes, it does. It's uh, too hot for me to touch. <laughs> Made that mistake once. <laughs> Ouch. And it's really heavy, so I like to have a second glove to Balance. make sure I'm good. I think it can go a little longer. A little longer? Thank you. Good. So why do you put the butter on the... Um, I just put a little butter for the moisture on the bottom since I've had it. All the moisture really is on the top right now, but I like a little moisture on the bottom. Voila. Yum! <laughs> oh yeah. So that will definitely impress all the friends from a dessert standpoint. 